Hello everybody and welcome back to the Communicraft server, where I'd just like to start off the episode by saying uh, I have two different bits of resource pack on currently. Um, I just want to kind of ask what you think of it. I it's um, If I go into here, you will see that I have got Lively Default and PR Luminance. Um, this basically adds a different shader, I, it's a different light mapping, um, so that, you know, torches and stuff have different, like, lighting in it. It looks pretty cool, um, just generally, so I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and I also have, as I say, uh, Lively Default, so if I take that off, for example, and actually press OK, um, and do this, uh, you'll be able to see that it's sort of, it's a bit more bland, a bit more meh. So I've been having that on, I've uh, been playing with it for the last couple of hours, I think it looks really nice, uh, so I'm going to keep it on for now. I think it's maybe a bit too green, maybe tone that down a bit, but I, I like the sky, I like the sun, I like the water. The water especially is brilliant, I love it. I don't know why, well I do know why, because it just looks really nice, it's really clear, etc, etc. But look at it, you can actually, you know, once we stop eating carrots, you can actually like see through the water, it's actually clear water. I have also turned fog back on. I originally turned fog back on for the um, panning I've had in the uh, the application video, but uh, I've come become fond of it. Uh, I think it's mainly because of the uh, the greener stuff, and you know, just a mixture of everything together. I do want to check my rent. Yeah, I had to change my render distance for that video as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I think everything is sort of going together. I think it's the clouds which do it for the fog, uh, but I'm really liking it. So, yeah, uh, I don't actually have, really, a massive plan for today. I do kind of want to have a look in um, this base over here, which is obviously Flames. He hasn't been on all that much, as you can see. I'm not sure if he has actually been on since the last episode. Um, but he, he's been playing a lot of modder recently. Um, so, you know, to each your own. I'm trying to, trying to mix it up. As you can see, I have uh, sunk probably too much time in here at the moment, but I wanted to check his farms down here. He has a massive amount of farms, which I noticed when I did the uh, panning shot over the top of here. And this looks really nice with the fog up there. I think that is fog, um, but that looks really nice. Uh, but I, I would love to actually see... There are rendering issues there as well. Um, can't wait to see when this is actually 100% finished. What is that? That's a creeper. That guy despawned. Um, but yeah, we actually have a plan for today, and that plan is, if you look in my inventory, we have the wither skull, three wither skulls and skulls, and four soul sand. The reason for this is we're going to fight a wither, um, and that's why I've got so many potions. I have potions of strength, uh, speed, I just had a random speed potion, I might put that up to level two. Um, I've got some regeneration, and also some night vision, uh, because it was night at the time, and I... Thought, what if I? It's night by the time I get over. There. Also, these uh, these leaves are looking really nice as well. I'm not sure if it suits the desert too much having them that green, but at the same time, it still looks nice. And I've realised that this place also looks really, really good. I don't know if it is due to having the uh, the lively default on and the other thing. Oh, ran a bit of lag. Um, but it, it's just looking really nice. Um, I'm not sure 100% why, but uh, it is. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, find our way back to the um, Nether portal. The reason I am not really over the Nether portal, and I kind of got confused by where it was for a moment, is because uh, again we've been having the bug of well, not the bug, but the uh, annoyance of the portal becoming uh, or the portal generating at my uh, base because that's where we originally made the portal, and it kind of I think it's trying to sync back up the original portal. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, we, uh, we're we going to do this and maybe we can do some work around the uh, the spawn area um, because we need to. Oh, that might have been why I was lagging. Also, these look really weird. Like if I... I'm just trying to find the differences between this uh, lively default and thing. Cause, uh... Oh yeah, this is what I mean. It's very orange when you have this just this default thing on. Um, it might be because I actually have it over, but um, it has very, it's very orange. I'm not sure if I like it. it makes it a bit more. I think it kind of does the opposite of the th what I wanted it to do. So I'm actually going to take that off because uh, it doesn't. I don't think it's going to be all that good for video uh, wise. But the lively default, I think, is going to be fine. Um, yeah, this place is looking quite nice. I don't know what the server's doing. 
turning on world auto saving, turn it off. Uh, the only reason you'll be seeing that now is because I'm currently an op on the server, and that is because I had to obviously turn myself to game mode three. Um, I asked Space if I could do it for the uh, the application video because he's been wanting me to do that for a while. That might be why, probably because that's when the server turns off. But um, basically, Space wanted me to be uh, wanted me doing that video for a while. I was trying to think of a good way to do it. Um, Oh, no. I've nope. <laughs> been thinking of try trying to think of a good way to do it. I thought the flyby shots would be nice. So I had to get, obviously, Game Mode 3 to work with uh, Pixel Cam. That is why I'm in 1.8 Forge instead of being in 1.8.4, which is vanilla uh, vanilla and Optifine. Uh, but yeah, I have that on so that I can, uh, at any point in time, if I think there's a nice panning shot of something we built, then we can do that. So I'm hoping to add that to my videos as well and make it a bit more, uh, you know, hopefully that makes videos look really nice in a way because then we can uh, have nice panning shots of the stuff we built. But yeah, hopefully that video turned out well because, I don't know, I was having a bit of trouble, there's a bit of trouble with, uh, you, I've been having with uh, the camera mod I've been using, which is, uh, it randomly all like, oh god, um, like spaz out on like the last thing um, at random points. I also want to check quickly. I was so worried then. Yeah, I did replant those. Oh, I did realize. Yeah, there are there's actually quite a lot in there. I did realize uh, I don't actually have my brilliant armor. I have protection three, I have protection two, projectile protection. I have. This is my best bit of armor here. I could have put on my nice diamond armor, but I really like these uh these boots because they are iron boots, but they have the best enchant, so protection for further falling, depth strider, and unbreaking, so they'll last for a while, I can repair them as well, um, so that's pretty good, they're not gonna like, they have unbreaking 3, so they're not gonna like, break super easily, diamond chestplate, don't care about it too much, considering I can get them from trading, um, that's the only reason I've got a diamond chestplate on, and uh, I don't want to like, do this with a fight with my good set of armor, just because, I don't know, I kind of, wanted to, I want to use this stuff, cause, and also I haven't fully done my nice bit of armor yet, I, I don't know if people know, but I'm planning to do, oh yeah, this is Luigi's place, <laughs> you may have noticed, um, it's quite a lot, I don't know where we did the last weather fight, and I think it was over here, and I don't want it hitting this area, um, but yeah, uh, I've been planning to get a nice set of armor together, which is like every enchantment perfectly fine, like, uh, protection for unbreaking. Not thorns, because thorns, like, kills armor really quickly. I never knew that desert well was there. I don't know if that was man-made or actually there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go over here and, uh, have a bit of a wither fight. And this time I've actually brought my strength potions. I remember last time, uh, we didn't... I, I made strength potions specifically for the fight and never, ever used them. Accident. I think I actually have them in my inventory. I can't remember um, when we did the last fight. I obviously know I have them in my inventory. This is where we did the last one. You may be able to tell. Um, we are far enough out, I think. Um, but yeah, hopefully this goes well. And hopefully I don't die. Uh, so let me check. I have punch two, I'm breaking three, power five, and 51, flame one. That doesn't really need to be here, I don't know what I was looking at it, it's chapter 4. Yep, so I have my best, I think smite is actually the best for this, so I might make a, a wither sword, which is essentially this, but with smite 5. Um, that might be a thing I do, because I can actually get infinite diamond swords and diamond, I can get infinite diamond swords, diamond axes, and diamond pickaxes, which, these three things, I don't really care for shovels too much, I've noticed. I can just get, I can get infinite iron shovels and, shovel, you know, the, the cheapest tool to make, um, ingot wise, so, you know, or gem wise so it doesn't really 100% matter and then bows string and wood or sticks but yeah uh, we are full on food I think I might actually switch to steak for this one we I've got strength which is gonna last for a minute and a half regeneration which is if we need it that can go away night vision we don't need swiftness which we also don't need but yeah we should have everything I didn't have instant health because I don't have any glistering melons. I do have gold, but I don't have that. So yeah, we should be good. So I'm just gonna stop recording, and then I can have a little clip, extra uh, like separate clip, so that I can do uh, anything with this, or I can split it up and stuff. But yeah, I will uh, see you in the wither fight. Right. So for whatever reason, I did that, that cut thing, you know, literally a couple of seconds, but 
we are going to place a head on here. Hope that the server's not lagging, because that's what it did last time. Huh? Huh. 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 Really? I'm gonna, like, rejoin. Attempt number two at this. Uh, it's not working. I have soul sand. I have all the stuff in the correct place, right? Yeah? Let me just I can place this actually on here. I'm not sure why this isn't working. Um, this isn't good. Okay, so I have slept, so that it is, is now daytime. It is just turned morning, because I obviously have just slept, so we shouldn't have to worry about mobs. We have at least ten minutes until it starts to get dark. And, uh, yeah, I found out the reason why it wasn't working was because, uh, apparently, uh, the bottom block has to have air blocks either side or on all the sides of it. Which, I swear, they must have changed ever so recently, because I remember a time where that wasn't the case. I remember there were times where I have placed, for example, that block like that. But apparently that's not a thing. So I'm gonna, like, do it like this. Uh, we're gonna have our regeneration potion and a strength potion, and uh, this lasts for eight minutes, so why don't we just have our speed potion there. So, one, let's eat a bit of food. Two and three. The weather is there. Time to fight and hopefully not die. I have set my spawn obviously over there, so it doesn't really matter if we die. Well, it does because I haven't got any spare gear. But I did. My bow isn't that effective. As effective as I thought it would be. Might be time to take a strength potion. Oh, dude. You've not withered me yet, so I'm very glad for that. I'm glad you didn't wither me as, as I said that. I think that went pretty well. <laughs> that is my first, oh god, very, very large amount of lag, and it might be the entities, or the fact that the server's saving the world, maybe. Um, but yeah, um, oh, I know what it is, actually. Let me just quickly change something on my computer to fix that problem. Okay, there we go. And, um, yeah, basically, I'm, I think that's my first wither fight without getting withered. I think I got withered in the previous one, um, but yeah, I didn't get withered at all, which is kind of a weird thing. I expected, that's why I had the regeneration potion and everything. I knew my arm would hold up pretty well against just a normal uh, wither fighting thing. Also, I'm picking up the sand because it means I don't have to mine it. And I need quite a bit of sand, just generally. <laughs> so why, why not kill two birds with one stone and uh, pick up some entities uh, otherwise going to despawn. And pick up some sands that we can uh, turn into glass, because I need some glass. I need a lot of glass to finish off my mob spawner, because I still haven't finished it. And also finish off the uh, the sugarcane farm. But yeah, um, that's that. Um, so I'm going to meet you back at the base. I have a few things to show off. If I can find out where the uh, portal is. I think it's this way. Yes, it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to... Go back to my base, show off a few things there, and maybe we can do some stuff around spawn after that. I was talking about the uses of glass, and uh, mainly the thing I thought of was uh, my love farm. However, why not use it on the beacon? So yeah, we are back at the, uh, the base here, and it is looking really nice. The green grass is really, really nice here, as well as the green leaves over here as well. Also, the emeralds look a lot greener than they normally do as well, due to this thing. I think it just takes the green and amplifies the green quite a lot, except in the emerald things here. But yeah, um, as you can see, I've started moving some of these items uh, that are in these chests. Some of these are actually empty, such as this one. Uh, that's nearly empty. That's pretty much empty. 
Uh, like, I delete, I destroyed all these chests, or what was that, in like, three, six, nine chests there, um, or nine double chests, so 18 chests in total. I d destroyed all of them, um, basically re picked up all the blocks and replaced them into, um, put the chest back and replaced them into that, and condensed, they pretty much everything went into, uh, th these three double chests and these two, so like, this double chest and the three double chest here were empty while still containing the same amount of items. So I really do need some sort of sorting system in that case. So I did create this. It's not the best thing in the world. It's just sort of a compact little area where everything um, that's needed can go. So I have tools and weapons here, which is just sort of this. I have my armor, which is this, including horse armor. I have my valuables, um, which is all this stuff. Uh, redstone, all this. Ores, this is just my spare ore stuff, so I've got a few bits of quartz, got some coal, got some emeralds, got some redstone over there as well, but oh, I'm saving that up, but that's empty. This is all my uh, andesite, diorite, and granite, and this is all my netherite. Yeah, got a quite a lot of stuff, but yeah, I'm going to actually throw this back in here. But yeah, we've also got um, brewing stand, crafting table, or yeah, crafting, yeah, crafting table, uh, anvil, and ender chest. It is crafting table, right? But, yeah, crafting table. I don't know why. I thought it wasn't. But yeah, um, that that's pretty good. Um, you know, I, I'm finally starting to uh, get some of that done. I actually want to come over here quickly and also check how many carrots we've got. Because uh, I did AFK for a bit, uh, but I also uh, just got bored after a while and realized I don't want to AFK anymore. Uh, but I've been playing this passively for a bit, so I'm assuming that this hop is starting to fill up. Yeah, it has. I'm just going to do that to fill up those. But yeah, uh, this one's finally full. It also goes in here sometimes. I think that's possibly just server lag sometimes. It, it doesn't always go in there, but, you know, whatever. Um, I need to finish those up as well. I just need to make everything look a bit nicer. Um, but yeah, I've, I've changed a few things. I've done that. That's my primary thing. I've also, I'm meaning to do that, I've talked about what I was going to do with that, I have, I've removed the auto fishing thing, I need to find a new area for that, and I've set this area up, this is sugar cane, um, it's going up through a couple of chests there, um, up here, so this is all clear now, so that we can, uh, you know, set up the other side and make this all look nice and clean and such, which is great. Um, this needs cleaning up once it's done. I need to investigate the height chunk loading thing. Um, I think it might. I think it might be, as I said, entities are 128 that get loaded. But if that is so, the entities are dropping. Um, you know, count. So in theory, there. That what that could mean is I could come over here, go up a bit, and like load these up, and um, it would like just send like a whole large amount of entities down, which could be a bit of a problem, because we don't want this filling up. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I've not really done much. I need to get a... this guy's a toolsmith? Yeah, but I need a weaponsmith and an armorer pretty badly um, set up here. I'm hoping to... I think one of those is guys... no, I don't think any of them are armorers. One of them is... I think that guy's a Fletcher. Oh, that was Shepard. But yeah, um, I'm going to drop off these potions. Uh, and then I think we are going to go spawn and uh, have a look. Oh, back in there as well. I'm uh, going to go and spawn and see what stuff we can sort of, uh, you know, clean up a bit. And it's starting to get big time. This I just want to show this like the, it changes from daytime to nighttime so like quickly and so nicely. Like it's really bright over there. And it's like you know red sky, and then it's sort of. Suddenly turns night. <laughs> it's really, really quite nice. Um, from the other side, where is this? So, <laughs> yeah, I will uh, have a look in spawn and see what it there is we can have a look at because I haven't got any real plans. I just kind of felt like doing a weather fight and recording. Don't know why. Um, felt like I was in the the mood to record. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to spawn, have a look at what we can uh, sort out, and maybe we can do some planning and stuff. So I'll see you at spawn. And once again, this is the portal that we come out of. I need to find a way of fixing that, but for now let's just deactivate it. It is quite nice because it is just sort of almost passive um, obsidian generation in a way. Like, I get 14 obsidian every time I destroy that portal. That's perfectly fine. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's have a little check up on our chicken farm. I need to find out what increment that does 
the saving world thing. I thought it was like every 10 minutes or something, but it's just done it at like 53 past. So I don't think it's particularly every 10 minutes. Uh, but we definitely need to clear this up. That's a definitely a thing that needs to be done. Um, we need to do some paths as well, but I don't really have enough time. Maybe if I uh, plan out some paths, then I can do it tomorrow morning. Because it is currently quite late over here. So this is not something I can particularly do and spend a long time on. Well, I can, but I wouldn't really be able to record doing it. And that's what I like about having feather falling. <laughs> Uh, but we definitely need to sort out a path going up here, um, and sort of going into this area, that's definitely something we need to do, we need to um, think about a design of doing this. I do need to actually, like, actively um, look into any better redstone designs for this, and I also need to look in um, for any ways of sort of, um, not farming exactly, but getting more, like, of these, like, redstone, pretty easy because I, I generate redstone in my farm. Glowstone, do the same thing. Golden carrots, I don't, but, you know, it's golden carrots. I can get gold every so often and put it in carrots, which I'm now generating, so that's perfectly fine. Sugar, I have a sugar farm. Have you seen how much sugar's here? Well, there's a lot of sugar. Or sugar cane. Glittering melon, do have a melon farm, don't have a gold farm. So that is something you need to get onto. Gunpowder, generate it in my farm. So a lot of these stuff, things I already generate in my farm. Pubfish. Nobody really uses them. Nobody really. I'm pretty sure nobody really remembers that water breathing is a thing. Same with potion of leaping, I think. Uh, though we just don't have rabbit foot. Uh, fermented spider eye. Don't think anybody's used those at all. Magma cream. Some people use them for fire resistance. Kind of useful. Gas tears. I put four in there. I, I obviously used one for my fight. Blaze powder. That's something that we can also farm later. Another one we just have a ton of, and I kind of need to get rid of. So yeah, we need to uh, sort of have a list of where we can get everything. We maybe can make a book here uh, and say, um, like maybe put a chest here and have a book in it saying if if these, because um, again this is kind of like a community thing. Obviously I'm building it. I'm well, I'm supposed to be building it. I need to get around to building it. But uh, when this thing is built, you know, I can have a book in there and say, are these materials missing? Like, you know, say what material is what potion and say, if it is missing, um, this is where you can get it. Um, for some, it won't be as easy. So, like, stuff like um, gas tiers, maybe. I don't know if there was a gas tier farm. I need to have a look into that. I think there is. I think I saw one. I think I looked it up. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, you know, some of the other stuff we can be like, oh, this is at my base. There should be, like, a chest for it. Or it's in my farm, or stuff like that. Spider eyes, wheat, sand. Sand we could actually use. I needed a lot of glass, as I said. Um, such as there's obsidian in here. But yeah, we can do that. Redstone's here. I need to clear this up. I need to take that back to my base as well. I think a lot of cleanup needs to be done. So that path needs to be done. This probably needs to get demolished and replaced with a better thing. Um, I'm thinking of actually putting this. I need to move it first off. Actually, let's see if any more villages have generated. But, uh, yeah, I do need to move it. Just generally. You have been... I threw a lot of carrots in there, I remember. Okay, so we need to... Maybe have a look through some of these guys, and, uh... Maybe we can bring them back to my base, and then... You know, um... Put, get them through the portal, maybe. Uh, but that's probably for a different day once I get that all done. Um, I need to. Well, it's still working. It works as a farm. I just need to make a better one. Like, if I can make a. Um, spaces one's pretty good. Uh, I like my one, especially since I'm generating carrots now. I might actually transfer. Demolish that one, set a new one up at my base keep spaces one here since this is an auto one but keep that one near my um not near my but like far enough away that it doesn't interfere but in my base so i can just get grab some carrots and generate more villages that'll be pretty cool um since we're, we're generating them fairly quickly as you saw and uh we can oh they see these are still actually generating that's pretty cool um some baby ones over here but it'll be nice to have some stuff near my base uh, that we can just, you know, as much as I like coming over to spawn, we need to, uh, 
We need to make our base more automated. So, yeah, we need to also do our farm, uh, our, our soup thing, but we need to go get some mushrooms in order to actually do it. Oh my god, look how many villagers there are. I know Space came over and said, uh, or told me that if I needed to, I could uh, go use, go take some of the villagers from here for my, uh, mo if I wanted any more layers to my, uh, my farms. That's pretty good. But I didn't realize there were that many. Uh, this place seems to be pretty... Is there anything in here? No, not anything too interesting. At this point, I'm just sort of having a look around. I don't really know. I haven't been here in a fair while. I actually found out only by being in spectator mode that there's actually water above here. Um, I accidentally went through the tree at one point to get to my, po uh, my, my camp point, and there's water in there, which is pretty weird. This definitely needs a uh, redo. Um, space has been nice enough to uh, sort of do some pathing a bit. Uh, I did attempt it on my own, as I kind of showed, but it wasn't the best. He's done a bit of decorating around here. But uh, yeah, we need to definitely do some work in here. I also need to... I took all, well, one row of these out, um, and I still need to get those all sorted. Um, and enchanted, because then people actually pay me stuff. Because currently nobody really wants to just buy, you know, just normal diamond pickaxes. And then I can be like, hey guys, <laughs> if you want silk touch pickaxes with efficiency 5, you can come to my shop and pay me three diamonds and a bit of lapis, probably. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what I wanted to do anymore. Uh, I think we just list, kind of listed off what we needed to do. So, stuff still up here. There's a tree. I don't know where that tree. I don't even know where that tree came from. But um, we have to do the pathing. That's the main thing. So. How about we do that? How about we just sort of... I know there's some materials in here. Um, sure space doesn't matter too much if we uh, borrow a few. I mean, they are pretty easy to gather resources. He has a lot of stone, so I mean... Getting, uh, getting slabs isn't exactly going to be the hardest thing in the world. Where are stone slabs? Let's just nick three stacks of that. And is there a crafting table anywhere? There is one. Oh, I think there's a load in here, isn't there? No. So let's do that. I'm sure that's enough slabs. And uh, let me attempt to do some of this stuff because I don't want this to just be walk around spawn and comment on stuff as an episode. So uh, yeah, I'm going to attempt to do stuff pathwise to this area and I'll see you once an attempt has been made. Okay, so I've somehow achieved something. <laughs> I don't know what. It's looking okay. Obviously, these blocks are going to be removed. Let me just get my shovel and sort of emulate that fact. Those are going to be removed. So are these blocks. Uh, so are those blocks. And possibly that one as well. And those ones. And those. I think. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've got like sort of the, the half slab area done. And it's looking okay. Like, uh... Obviously, this is gonna need to be a bit nicer, which it will probably be like that. But I think it's okay. I hope it isn't too steep. Um, hoping have my oh, what am I doing? That was in my there. I think that's kind of getting there. Um, it's it's not these bits I have trouble with. It's the sort of slopes. That I have trouble with, but uh, yeah, I've got this sort of leading into here, um, which we can sort of, you know, change up a bit. We can do like that as well if we want. I don't know, something like that. We can change it later. I prefer to have it just straight flat for now and change it all a bit later, or maybe get someone else to change it if they think, you know, um, differently, or you know. If I'm not 100% sure on it. But uh, yeah, I think that's looking okay for now. So I think the case for now is just sort of. Oh. I think we're gonna sort of quickly do it and then I can refine it later. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna have enough. That's definitely not where that goes. Also, somewhere seems to be, as you may be able to hear, um, some zombies. I'd find out where they are. Some, but some stuff is spawning. Uh, can I get that? No, I. Oh, maybe I can. Can 
I do that? Yes, I can. That looks a lot better. And these ones... Huh. Not sure. But these are better when they have... I forgot. That. And then these ones are going to have a thing, but these need to... Sort of... Like, they, they need a backing to them. That, that's the problem. So I've got to, like, artificially raise this hill, basically, to make this place look a bit better. Hopefully we actually have enough. I think we should have around about enough. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. It's getting a bit dark. I thought it was my, uh... I have, like, this little app on my computer called Flux, which changes, like, my screen's brightness, depending on, like, the time of day. And uh, for like make it easier on the eyes. But I'm not sure if it actually 100% it like affects recordings. And uh, that's that's what it was earlier. The thing I had to change, and I thought it had happened again because of the way this uh, day-night thing works with this resource pack on. These guys are annoying. I need to have a look at them. I need to sort of. I need to make a bigger area for them. I need to make this just better. Look at it. It's terrible. <laughs> but yeah. We also need to fix that area there. I need to get some pistons. I think space had some pistons, so I can piston those blocks in. Because that's the only reason I can't do anything currently is because... Um, what am I doing? Because I currently can't push that block anywhere. So, let's just... Let's do that, maybe? Maybe... Do this to sort of raise this area up. Maybe. Maybe it looks a bit too artificial. Maybe something. Well, I suppose when it's actually grown, it'll look a bit better. Maybe destroy that one there. That might look a bit better. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to look at that and see if that grows. So we're gonna actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little scout around for uh, these zombies guys because I don't know where they are and they might have picked up some stuff. But uh, this means they're quite likely near my base. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can find these guys. Okay, so maybe I found them. I'm not sure where this leads to. Uh. Where are you guys? Ah, oh, here you are. Right, so maybe this isn't lit up enough. Or maybe it's just... needs a bit more lighting up. Somewhere further down. We can actually see if there's any nice ores around here. What is in here, I wonder? Probably where everything is spawning. Yep. I need to actually, uh... Farm off some more wither skulls and maybe set up some beacons. Be nice to. I think I. Yeah, I think I found out where all this stuff is happening. It's this cave, an entire cave that needs lighting up. This is great. But yeah, I need to um, get a few more wither skulls and see if I can kill a few more withers. And uh, I'll set up a strength beacon next time uh, since I have a spare one. The reason I wanted another one is because I kind of wanted a, a home beacon or a base beacon that I can use, just stays at my base and have a work beacon potentially that I can just sort of. Have the blocks to you uh, like give it its full tier um, on me. Um, I might save up some iron blocks for that, um, or maybe emerald ones. But I use emeralds a fair bit actually nowadays. Um, yeah, so I can do that. But that'll be nice to have a strength beacon for next time, and then I will probably set up a few beacons at the spawn. Well, I'll probably set up a few at my base first. Uh, but it'll be nice to have like resistance and. Regeneration, and I need to set one at the end farm as well for regeneration because the amount of times you uh, all that punching really does ruin your food. Yeah, there seems to be more caves around here, so I'm just gonna go and see if I can find them and then light them up a bit more because I don't know, this might actually increase Space's uh, mob farm a bit in uh, speed. But yeah, I'm gonna have a look around, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, it literally has been a couple of seconds and Find out where they are. Uh, yeah, here. That's pretty. Uh, 
Alright, that's pretty, uh... These guys are pretty loud. This, this maybe goes on for a while. We can maybe pick up some uh, coal while we're here. There might be a spawner, you never know. That might be pretty cool. But this place is pretty unexplored. Um, so yeah, probably going to be here a while lighting this place up. This does mean the uh, the other world is going to be a bit more dangerous because everything is going to be spawning though. Um, yeah. I'm surprised that nobody's found this cave. Like, we've been on this server for a pretty long time, I think. And uh, I'm surprised nobody's found this yet. Um, this is why I love Depth Strider. <laughs> Alright, so let's just fill that up. And kill everything with fire in my face. Is this maybe the end? The air? No, it's not. That's why we need strength beacons, so we can kill everything in one hit. Okay, so something's been here before, unless that's a spawner. Nope, someone's been here before. I don't know why I just tried to put a uh, torch in water, but I did. All this killing stuff has made me hungry. <laughs> Come on. So, Matt, that's why, because there used to be a ravine. Well, there still is a ravine, but obviously it's the one we're standing in right now, but uh, it used to never really spawn much, because we used to sleep a lot, and in doing so it was always pretty much day, um, and this it wasn't covered. I think this is the same ravine that maybe was covered, but we uh, we covered it up, or I didn't personally, someone did, someone cut it. I think it might have been Space, because he was doing a lot of work around spawn, but uh, yeah. This is probably... we've definitely been here, because look at it. But uh, yeah, this is... I think this is the same one. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to do all this lighting up until I maybe run out of torches, which will probably be soon um, at this rate. And uh, I'll see you back at uh, possibly spawn, possibly my place. I've set myself on fire. There we go. But yeah, I'll see you... Uh, once all this is maybe done. Well, I've definitely found my way out of this area. I know exactly where we are now. So uh, that's pretty useful. I never actually found out who built that thing. I need to find out who built it. I need to ask some of the guys around, but uh, I'm not actually 100% sure who built it. Because I never saw anybody building it. I just saw, you know, its gradual construction. So I'd have to assume it's obviously people that aren't on it at the same time as me. Um, I'm not sure who that was. Could have been anybody at the beginning of the server, because that's when it appeared. Um, oh, yeah. I think now, unless I find something like a spawner or something like that, I will see you when we're back doing something else. Okay, so I come back up here, and uh, I instantly hear more zombie sounds, so I have no idea where these guys are. Um, potentially under here, but I don't think there's any empty or any areas that are sort of, you know, spawnable under there. I don't think there's any too high holes. But uh, yeah, we are going to, for the last bit of today's episode, just sort out some, some small things. So I'm just going to throw some of these in here. We actually got quite a few things. I need my water bucket. Uh, we got quite a few things from killing all those guys, but uh, I do have a um, looting three sword, so I would assume we would get quite a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go get a piston, and I hope there is a, well, I have a crap ton of redstone at my uh, my witch hut, or my witch area, so it shouldn't matter too much, but there's a piston, that's what, exactly what I wanted, and some sticks if I want to make some redstone torches. Anything in here? Nope. Um, hopefully space doesn't mind me borrowing these pistons. I'm going to give them back. I might forget, though, so if I do forget, I you do want to make, do tell me. Because um, I don't want to go be stealing stuff, because that's not nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need to sort of maybe get, talk with space about, or maybe just do it myself about, like, working out where stuff is going to go between. That's not supposed to do that. 
let's fix these. But like, I, you know, I want to do more pathing stuff. I think that'll be pretty cool. So let me just do that, 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 then that. There we go. Uh, and then we just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Be easier to update redstone blocks than anything else. And we're gonna need some stone. Uh, just generally for building up and also just other stuff. Um, but yeah, and you definitely need to work on a better design for this area because it's looking really bland, and I don't like bland builds. I'm I will be 100% surprised if these guys have not been killed. That is because this area is completely spawnable by mobs. Yep, I know it. <laughs> Just saw it and went, hmm, this is probably been killed. They lost a long time, they must have. Because I came up for a bit ago and they were still fine. But it'll be, it's finally nice to get rid of that. And then we can fill in that hole of water. All up. So let's just grab four bits of uh, dirt. And this is stone. Didn't mean to do that. It's filled up. Let's throw an egg for good luck. Are you going to become a chicken? Did you become a chicken or did you go splat? You became a chicken! <laughs> what did you hit? You must have hit like the side of that block. You are now going to roam around and make more eggs. So, that went well. Uh, but yeah, I need to. Do a few, th few, yeah, a few more things around spawn. I'm probably going to make a list. I need to do that. I haven't. I said I was going to do that a while ago. I never did, but I need to make a list. This is this is another thing. This these these four blocks here of uh, I think it's andesite. I think it is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's andesite. Yeah, looks like it is. Um, if I'm not mixing those up, but yeah, basically these blocks have been here for a very very long time, and especially when I was doing the um the flyby thing, it really annoyed me that it was still there. There's a cow right there. <laughs> but yeah, let's just dig down here. Uh, but yeah, I need to get a list together of all the spare things. I'm I've got it like a fairly uh, this week. I'm actually recording this early, but I I actually have quite a free week, so maybe I can get onto that. And uh, I don't know, maybe because of this week, I have an extra long break normally than I normally do. Maybe we can get more than one Communicraft episode up. Maybe this won't come out on Friday and it will come out on like a Thursday and we can have another one out on Friday or something like that. I'm not sure. Like also we need to build another iron iron farm above our other one. That's a thing I've been meaning to do. We need to double our iron generation. Um so I have said about doing an iron titan but it is just kind of a bit too much work in some regards. And I'm not sure as I said, I'm not sure if the guys would use that much iron. So if we have that iron farm, um, iron farm working with two layers and my iron farm working with two layers, um, I'm sure that's enough iron for everybody that uh, comes on the server because, again, not many people <laughs> are really coming on the server all that much. People are currently, you know, got other interests going on and uh, I don't blame them for that. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna end off this episode for a while. I'm not sure how long it's been, um, but yeah, I thought I'd end it off. It's been Bit of an odd job sort of thing, made a wither, or made a wither, killed the wither, made a beacon, fixed some cavey stuff, and done a path-ish. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, hopefully next episode, maybe still in the same week, maybe not, but um, because I've also changed my outro thing, which means I don't have to Basically, previously I did my outro where it said to the last video, which meant I had to render the last video and record the last video before doing the next one. But now I can kind of do them out of order, um, which is quite nice uh, in some regards. But uh, yeah, maybe I can maybe I can uh, release this one early and another video. So basically, if, if this video is released on like a not a Friday and isn't late, then hopefully I get a second video out. Or a second, uh. Why don't I just. That looks sloppy. Uh, then I'll probably have a second Communicraft video out this week. That'll be pretty cool. But yeah, um, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. 
and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.